last week at Texas, we finished fifth. Today, we are going to Kansas for the Digital Ally 250. Hopefully, we can maybe get Tanner Gray, our teammate, uh, his very first win of the season because we do need to get both DGR trucks in the playoffs and before our winter break we won at Watkins Glen and there has actually been a um if we view the season standings here there's been one two three four five different winners six Seven, there's been seven different winners. We have not had a repeat winner just yet. Um, not sure if that's going to change today or not. Jason White um, with uh, 67 points tied with Mike Harmon. Not looking good. Johnny Sauter in a First, we are six, and our teammate of Tanner Gray is 17th. So we got to work on that. Let's jump down to the track for some qualifying. Qualifying lap starts now. Mile and a half for the truck series. You can pretty much kind of keep it flat out and be okay. Okay, um, obviously we are not going to be doing that, we're just going to be uh, leaving it kind of the same and normal, hopefully everything goes good and we're able to advance to the second round, we're going to go a 33.88, and I think that's going to conclude our qualifying session and we do make it to session two christian eckes goes fastest in session one with a 33 12 and joni machek joni machek there's joni Johnny Machek, Ruff, Rafael Lassard, Josh Rayum, Angela Rush, Jesse Little, Clay Greenfield, Jason White, and Mike Harmon do not advance to a session two. Let's get session two underway. Before session two, I am going to make that just a little bit looser, and we are going to get out of here sorry if uh session one was too loud for the track i do need to turn tj majors the spotter down um that is for sure qualifying lap starts now and we're actually going to tag the wall just a bit right there hopefully nothing else happens let's see through three and four we should be gonna I'm hoping that we advance to the final session here but I don't know I think we should be able to a 3403 I think we should have enough to make it into the final round of qualifying. Let's find out. And we barely make it into the second or well, the third round. Christian Eckes again fastest with a 33-11 this time. I think he won a 33-12, so a little bit faster. Maybe he will get the pull. Christian Eckes is probably going to have a truck that's going to be hard to beat. So all these people, um, unfortunately, did not make it to the final round. Let's see 
who gets the poll for the Digital Ally 250 here at Kansas Speedway. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode with Haley Deegan, well the Haley Deegan career mode. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm kind of considering doing an Xfinity career mode with a Haley Deegan in uh, on iRacing against the AI. I feel like that would be a pretty cool if we did um, if we did something like that. I think that'd be really fun and cool if we did that. But I I, I kind of have a feeling we won't um, unless I just make you know my own Ford Mustang in here in NASCAR Heat 5 and do it that way and we're going to come across the line with a 33.95 that's probably going to put us anywhere between P12 and probably P7 let's find out who got the pole and we go 7th and let's see who gets the pole Christian Eckes gets the pole for the Digital Ally 250 with a 3319. So in session one, he went to 3312. Session two, a 3311. And now a 3319. And last place did a 3538. So big time difference there. Hopefully it's all good and uh, everything goes well, but Christian Eckes is going to start on the pole. Christian Eckes has been dominant all weekend. Jennifer Joke uh, failed pre-race inspection. Angela Rush failed the optical scanning station multiple times. Green flag is out. The Digital Ally 250 is underway here at Kansas Speedway. Todd Gellin did not get a good run. Not a good run, a good restart whatsoever. Gonna come up the track. Austin Hill kind of wanted to work with us just a little bit there. Didn't really want to work with him. We're going to go way up high. I kind of have a feeling I made this truck a little too loose. So as the race goes on, obviously, we are going to see if we need to make any adjustments and stuff like that. Todd Gillen is back, and he Careful, is fighting hard right now. Going to give a shot to Brett Moffitt in the 23. Going to kind of check him up just a little bit. I kind of have a feeling it's going to either be us, Austin Hill, Careful, Todd Gillen, or maybe even, um, well, obviously, Christian Eckes. He's been absolutely amazing so far. It looks like Ross Chastain actually kind of wants to work with us just a little bit, but your boy doesn't really want to work with him too much, but I don't know what he, I don't know what Ross is going to be able to do. We barely touched the wall. We're going to use all of this apron down here to get second place from Todd Gillen and we are going to stick the truck on the bottom and it's going to shoot way up the racetrack. This thing is definitely a top lane truck unless I make it looser and make it do that but I think this thing is going to be a top lane truck. Caution is out. Austin Hill is pitting. I wonder if he blew up. I don't know what happened 
let's get ready for a restart. Starting second now. This should be a fun, fun time. Two lap dash. Pretty much. This is pretty much going to be a green white checkered for the stage win. And Ross Chastain to the lead. And he's going to hold it. We might take it. Not sure. I'll give him a shot to the bumper. Up into the wall, same thing for Christian Eckes. I am on Ross Chastain's bumper. White flag is out for stage one. We might be able to draft with Ross Chastain here and maybe get the lead on the front stretch and win stage one but I don't know we're gonna try we're gonna use this apron to our advantage and we get the stage win let's go There is the top 10 finishing order, and we will scroll through the rest of the grid for you guys. You can see Mike Harmon is hitting, and I forgot. Austin Hill is not out of the race. It's good, he's 23rd. Nobody is pitting. Let's get ready to start stage two. Stage two is underway here at Kansas. We have the lead. Nine laps for stage two. So far, we are still leading Christian Eckes in second. Ross Chastain has fallen to fourth. Not good for him. We are going to go way up the track and actually hit the outside wall, which is going to bring Christian Eckes back right, to there. us. Ross Chastain! No, oh, no. Christian Eckes was involved in that. Yikes. Ross Chastain was coming on the bottom. Man. That was... Yikes, man. That, that was a gnarly one. We are... Johnny Sauter is pitting. Um, a couple other drivers are pitting as well. Um, Christian Eckes isn't going to pit, and neither are we. Green once again, and alright. Oh, we've actually DNF'd. Well then. All right, that's lovely. Okay. <laughs> this is, I think, our third DNF 
on the season because I think we had like two in a row. I think this might be our third, maybe fourth DNF on the season. DNF at Kansas. Next week, we go to Darlington. Let's actually see who won this race. If you guessed, I wasn't Christian Eckes. If you guessed Todd Gilliland, you are correct. We get our eighth winner, our eighth different winner on the season. Nobody has gone back to back. We find ourselves eighth in points. Our teammate is 16th in points, which is nice. Happy that we won a stage, that we won that first stage. Um, that was pretty you know, good that we won that first stage. Um, happy for Todd Gillen. Um, at brings him up into the standings as well. All we have to do is just chase stage points. That is literally all we have to do is chase stage points and stage wins. We've only won two and uh, we need to win more because DNFing like this one, two, three, yeah. We DNF'd at Vegas, DNF'd at Bristol, and then this is our third DNF here at Kansas. There's only two months until the playoffs start at Eldora, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's it's a little, uh, not, well, I, it's a little sketchy, not sketchy, it's a little scary to think that we are two months into this season already and here we are with three DNFs. So how many DNFs are we going to get? Are we going to have by the end of the season? Are we even going to be able to make it to the championship out at Phoenix? I really do hope so. But without further ado guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the friends if you enjoy if you guys are interested in getting a gaming computer. Please click the link in the description below. There's a video, Apex Gaming PCs, absolutely fantastic computers. And if you guys use code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D, you guys can get 10% off of all products. Yes, you heard that correctly. 10% off of all products using code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D. Sorry for such a short video. Kind of what happens when you DNF so early in the race. We had not even 20 laps yet. So that's what happens when you DNF. Um, so early in the race so sorry for the short video hopefully next week at Darlington we can uh, you know get a couple more uh, laps and maybe sweep the stages maybe win both stages and get our second win on the season peace out and I will see you guys in the next one yeah